Hello game fans, and as always, welcome to the Steam Chamber. I'm your host, Lord Elemental, and today's game is Gas Guzzlers Extreme, which is a fast-paced combat racing game from Iceberg Interactive. Now, this game plays very much like a grown-up Mario Kart. There are several cars to unlock, I believe it's something in the region of 20, uh, each are customizable, whether it be in looks or under the hood or bonnet, which, wherever, whichever side of the Atlantic you're from. There are lots of upgrades and there are lots of weapons and there are a load of tracks to play through as well as several different game modes. Now I'm going to focus mainly on the single player, however that the game does have multiplayer as well. Now single player wise you start off with a choice of two different cars, they're the first track you might play, you'll play in a sort of more souped up car, more late stage car to give you a sort of glimpse of what things will be like. Then when you get into the main racing career or campaign, you will choose one of two cars, one that's very much a, a rip off of something, a, a small compact such as the Mini Metro or the Fiat 500, or a essentially a three wheeler Robin Reliant. Not that you can ever race the bloody things at any sort of speed because they can't turn around corners. Now you choose your your car of choice, spend your money, and then choose a basic weapon of choice. I think the starting weapon is the basic forward firing shotgun, and then you start your career. Now, you have two, three different race modes in the career mode. You have a race mode which is sort of standard power race, which is just your standard racing game uh, without any weapons, it's just one end to the other as quick as possible with some pickups along the way such as mines to drop or nitrous, to, nitrous oxide to pick up along the way to give you a boost and then you've got battle race in which you are equipped with weapons whichever weapon is your stock weapon on your car as well as the various pickups you can get whether that be gas or oil or mines again and then you also have knockout which also you have weapons as well as you do in battle race and in this in knockout mode the last person each lap gets knocked out until there's only one person left which is a really fun mode actually it's one of my favorite modes of the lot because it really does really does force you to try and get the best lap time each and every single time and before you know it you could think oh great I'm all right I'm doing fine I'm still in second place and then realize actually you're the only two people in the race so it's actually quite a good fun mode. Now there are actually seven different modes and these come into play further as you get into the game but they're also there are also more available in the multiplayer side of things so you've got things like capture the flag, last man standing, deathmatch and knockout. Now in terms of tracks there are 40 tracks, eight arenas and seven different environments it's a case of different some of the tracks are the same tracks but sort of rejigged as you've seen in a lot of games like Midnight Club Racing when they turn things around and add new track parts and stuff like that. There's some really nice little there's some really nice little touches in the game, you know, you've got you can do various features will get your nitrous boost up without having to pick up a nitrous. You've got shortcuts on the maps which aren't necessarily always that safe, so it might be a little bit shorter, but you'll have got obstacles that can destroy your car or damage your car, or say on one of the snow maps, you could take a shortcut, but you have got zero acceleration. So as soon as you lose your speed, if you t go around the corner of one of these shortcuts too fast, you're going to hit a wall, and that just completely destroys your speed. So you've got to be really careful when you choose things like the shortcuts. Weapons as well, quite interesting. The shotgun that you start off with is forward firing. However, you can upgrade it for a double-ended shotgun, which means it's backward firing and forward firing. And the same goes for things like the machine gun as well. You've also got various different pickups, be it the a couple of different types of gas or the oil slicks or the mines. These are also really good for bring, using them at certain points when you know you're going to get a good result. You know, there's no point just sticking them down in the middle of the road. They really work really well on the corners. Handing wise, which for me is the most important part of the game. The uh, handling is absolutely superb. The, gu the cars feel like they've got some real weight to them. They don't feel floaty. It doesn't feel like a cheap game at all. This does feel like a, a good, a premium game. 
that controls really well, handles really well, the, the, the cars steer really nicely, there's a nice speed to the game, it, it really does feel like meaty, there's some real weight behind the cars and it really does feel like you're, you're racing these cars. Uh, graphically speaking, the, great, uh, the game's fidelity is really quite nice, it's not a bad looking game at all, it does not look cheap. The environments are quite nice, there's quite mix, quite nice mixture of environments, there's quite a few things going on in the background, they're nice and busy, but not too busy so it distracts you as you're driving, but just enough so that it also, you don't, you don't want it too quiet either, too plain in the background, and then that can be as much of a distraction with too much going on. So the car models as well, really nice. Now there aren't any licensed cars in the game, however... They have taken some artistic license and a lot of these cars really do rip off existing vehicles out there. So you can have a bit of fun trying to guess which is what. There's some really nice, there's a really nice sense of humour in the game in terms of things like the names of the AI. Um, silly names like puns on, on things and such and it works really nicely. And the AI itself is actually really good. The AI r races really nicely. It's not a matter of you, that you're going to be leading the whole time or you're going to be behind the whole time. The AI is really clever in how it uses the weapons and how it deploys the power-ups as well. And they will use sneaky tactics to try and ram you off the road. It's, it, the AI works really quite nicely. I've been playing it for our medium. And it's been presenting enough of a challenge for now. But if you're a bit more experienced with racers, then you might want to up it to the hard mode. Um, I haven't spent a huge amount of time on the multiplayer. I've spent a little bit of time on the multiplayer. However, when I was playing the game at its at the height, it, there weren't many people playing it because I don't think it had been entirely released at that point. Although I'm not quite sure, uh, as this was last week and I've been very busy. But it's a very, very good game with a lot of humour. There's some real nice customization. There's really nice c car models. There's really nice decals to add to those. There's a nice bit of upgrade in order to keep you interested. And the tracks will unlock as you go along through the campaign as well as the various up grades and the new weapons so there's enough to keep you playing there as i say the multiplayer is quite good as well there's quite a lot of modes but i do have to spend a bit more time on the multiplayer overall i do think it's worth the price of 19 pounds but if you're a bit shy about spending that much on um, something more of an indie game then do by all means pick it up in a sale if you're on the fence but it is a really fun game and it's one of the best little racing games I have played in quite a long time. Also, just before I go, I just want to mention it does actually have stream trading cards if you're into that. So it's available now. It's $18.99 in the UK. I'm not sure about American price, but you can follow the link below and find out for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Please do like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we should have some more reviews up in the next day or two. Thanks.